All right, in this video, we got an 80 series Land Cruiser. I'm gonna be doing a build on it. So I'm gonna do several section videos. So it'll be a multi-part of, I think the four major things I think are important when you do a build. So what we have here is a diesel right-hand drive. So it's not an FZJ, cause F is for the gas powered. This is a HDJ 81, so it's diesel and I absolutely love it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about diesel Land Cruisers, FCJ, FJ80, and I have have had all Land Cruisers from 40 series, 60, 73, 80, 100, and 200. But anyhow, this focus is for an 80 series build. So whether you have, you know, a US version 80 series or a Japanese, which I highly recommend with that diesel engine, this is uh, what I think are the important builds. So in this first part video, it's going to be the wheels. And you can see it's got OEM wheels with brand new rubber, um, 33s. I'm going to put 35s on this, which is easy for that diesel engine to roll. Uh, and those are the OEM wheels uh, painted a charcoal black or charcoal dark gray, which I think looks great on this truck. But I happen to have some bead lockers that I can't resist to put on this which also the offset is gonna have the wheels come out a bit. Um, so quickly on this vehicle, I picked it up January uh, of 2023 in Scottsdale. So someone else imported it and I was lucky enough to win it on Bring a Trailer. It is a turbo and I believe it has like about a two and a half to a three inch lift on there currently. All I've done to it so far is give it a good detail wash. I um, polished out the running boards. So if it's Japanese version, you get the aluminum, the US, uh, I believe that only came in black. It's got a joust front bar. So I'm juggling, do I keep that bar? Or do I change it to an ARB or an Ironman or a uh, AOE? I already have an Ironman on 180 that I'll share with you and an AOE on another one. So gotta make that decision of which way to go. But I do want to kind of keep this as original as possible. I just paused the video because my neighbor uh, in this community just pulled out and he's like, what are you selling this for? I'm like, oh, no, no, this is not for sale. And he has had a, a, a 100 series, an LX470. So we just talked Land Cruiser Lexus there for a bit. But anyways, back to the video. So I do want to keep this kind of OEM, like keep the running boards but you know there's no rack on it so maybe do something roof rack wise wheel wise because i got the bead lockers uh so we'll see we'll see but stay tuned because i'm going to be doing something i think each week or you know midweek uh so this will be a pretty quick build i already ordered stuff it already delivered it's just a matter of time of me putting it on and for you uh us land cruiser guys you know i am in california Notice windows, no tint, no factory, kind of that mirror tint, no sliding windows in the back. They're just solid. Um, so a couple nuances, a couple interesting things that makes the Japanese version a little different. But I'll tell you, uh, especially with gas prices these days, when I got this in January I, in Arizona, I think I filled it up with like $3 diesel. And now diesel is 6 bucks. But this gets double the miles of a... Uh, FZJ80, the gas powered ones, which as you know, guzzle gas, especially when you do a build, you start getting it weighed down. But there it is. I just wanted to do a before video. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to put some wheels on and let's check it out once we got uh, part one of the mods of this build complete. All right. And then, yeah, I'll just add now I know why all the Australians just absolutely adore their Land Cruisers because they got all the diesels. We got no diesels here in the US. But in the last year, I picked up three diesels. This one, uh, a 73 series, a 1992 HZJ73, uh, 4.2 liter, and a 1990 HJ61 turbo diesel. Uh, and this one's turbo here as well. Love the diesels, absolutely love it. All right, so time to put the wheels on and let's see step one of this Land Cruiser build. And actually before I put on the other wheels, let's just take a close up of these fresh tires. So I do like the BFGs. We're gonna go from 80s to 
MTs, so it's going to be a little bit more aggressive looking, and uh, that's just a clean OEM wheel. Just a different look. I'm sure the silver ones would look good on this too because it would pick up that silver accent. But my goal here is to keep this uh, a three color theme. So black, silver gray, and then a kind of a special green color, wait till you see it. And I think when I get the wheels off, I don't know if you can see in there, um, the drum is usually a little rusty, so I'm gonna hit some 2K black satin just to clean things up because I probably will not have caps on the uh, on the next wheels. Oh yeah, and here's one quick mod just to share with you. Right hand drive, folks. Some people say, oh, how do you do it? I love it. Actually, to be honest, I like it better than left hand drive. I love the right hand drive. But here's one mod I did. Um, wits end. So I had these on hand. That is like a fire extinguisher mount. I didn't put the fire extinguisher on this side and I do need to get a key. So I contacted wits end. See if they can hook me up with a key. And on that side, you can see fire extinguisher on the passenger side and kind of like a storage. You can store stuff there on that little slope. Uh, they create like a little storage container. So that's how it looks. Pretty cool. Just a simple thing. Wits End has a whole bunch of cool stuff you can put on your rig. All right, so that's just a little mini mod. Not part of my four key mods that I think would look great on this truck. All right, and the wheels you're about to see, um, it took me two weeks. I got them powder coated. I got had to take the bead lockers off. It was such a process, but they are a custom color. And let's see what it's gonna look like on this truck. Time to go mount them. Okay, just mounting the wheels now. And I wanted to share something without giving the big reveal yet, which literally you gotta wait one minute in <laughs> video. That's the inside of the wheel. So I had these powder coated. So that's not the outside, that's the inside, but that's the color bead lockers. And if you're in Southern California, I have a video on how to powder coat, which is kind of a joke because you don't powder coat. You clean your wheel and you bring it to a powder coater. But I have a powder coater that'll do it for about two, uh, sorry, 50 bucks a wheel. So about 200, 220 for like 16 or 17 inch wheels, which most off-road uh, wheels are. So what I'm pointing out here is you notice how Land Cruisers with their OEM wheels, they kind of stick in, right? It's barely sticking in. Well, the first wheel is on, and what I love is the offset without having to put a spacer. So you see the offset is just, just enough, right? You get just enough rubber showing to me, which is clean. Obviously, you don't want to have too much, but these are wider tires. These are 12 and a half. So a little wider, offset's a little different. So look at that, clean. Here's some other Land Cruisers actually to share with you. So uh, as far as bead lockers, I have bead lockers on this one. These are race lines. So that's my FJ40. Yeah, those are 40 inch tires, folks. So that's a big job putting those bead lockers on. On this one, those are just Icon wheels. But you see that truck is kind of color coordinated black and, and that gold, which is cool. And here is an OEM with dupli color. So that's dupli color. I have a video on how to do that. So if you want to check that out, those are, this truck's for sale, by the way. If anybody's interested at the time of viewing this, it is available with King Shocks and Dobinsons. Pretty good setup. And then this one, that's Godzilla. That's the HZJ73. I just had to get out of the way for passing traffic. So that's a diesel as well. Then the wife keeping it in the Lexus Toyota family drives the LX570. But yeah, this one, uh, if you subscribe and like Land Cruisers, that's all I got is Land Cruisers. So this one's very capable FJ40. So that one's done. No, Nothing else needs to be done with that. And same thing with those others. So that's why my project is on this black diesel. All right, back to uh, putting the wheels on. Oh yeah, 
and this Land Cruiser, this is Otis, it's also on my channel. So this one's like really built with Icon Stage 3 and all the goodies, like uh, it's all covered, I know, but with the Delta underneath there. And so this one's hardcore. That's why I want to make this one here a little bit more original, yet, you know, still got to do some stuff to build it, right? So got to do some subtle things to make it look cool. And yeah, for the first time, I went outside the world of Land Cruiser and I got a Land Rover Defender. So that's also on my channel. Love that truck, but I love my Land Cruisers. But that was just, you know, for something a little bit different. Anyways, back to this one. Let's get those wheels on. And when you put your wheels on yourself, you have the benefit of kind of sanding that down and hitting it with a black enamel epoxy. So just so I have a clean look, mostly for this, because this is gonna show through, I'm not putting caps on these wheels. All right, so let's hit that with paint and get that wheel on. And there you have it, nice and clean. So we're not gonna be looking at any rust anymore if you can peer in there. But the most important part is here, is having this all black. All right. Okay, here we are about ready for the big reveal. So just before I show you the big reveal, quick story to share. First of all, this went up one inch because we went from 33s to 35s. So we got one inch of height and the other inch is in wheel well absorption. Um, all right, so that plate on this truck says 80 diesel. So it's an 80 series and diesel. I have another plate that's custom, and this is the funny story. It's on that HZJ73 you saw earlier in the video, um, 73 series. So I got GOAT, GOAT for greatest of all time, LC for Land Cruiser. So GOAT Land Cruiser, GOAT LC, six letters. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So put that plate on and one day I'm coming out of my office, leaving for the day and this older gentleman in his mid seventies is walking up and he's looking at my plate and uh, I said, it's a Land Cruiser. And he's like, oh, I got that much because it says Land Cruiser up on that FRP top. And uh, he's like, but I'm trying to figure out your plate. He's like, goat liquor? I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to get rid of this plate. <laughs> goat liquor. I said, no, sir. It's greatest of all time Land Cruiser. All right, let's reveal it. So there are the wheels. I'll do a 360. Let's soak that in. Those are the fuel zephyrs, custom powder coated in gunmetal with a black bead locker. I think it makes the stance so much more aggressive because those wheels come out slightly, barely flush. Those are 17 inch and the wheels are 35, 12 and a half, 17s. Just fits right. And that is just stage one of the build. There's three other major things coming up that I, when I say majors, because it makes a pretty big visual impact, plus functional. I mean, functional here, bead lockers, I can air these down to maybe eight, 10 pounds on those bead lockers with the BFG MTs, some of the best mud terrains out there. So totally functional and just looks great. So I think in anybody, everybody could probably attest and agree that one of the biggest um, upgrades in a build is changing your wheels. Now I love the OEM wheels. So on Otis, my other Moonglow Pearl 80, I left it with those, but I put MTs on it and all. But wheels is a pretty big deal. All right, let's get a close up look. So as you know, I painted the inner center black. Oh, you know what, I, that's the underside on that one. I'm gonna touch that one up. But this should be fine. I do have to put caps there. There's a cap that doesn't fully cover everything. It just, it was cut out by the previous owner of these wheels. So I'm gonna do something there interesting. So stay tuned. Has to do with an accent color in the theme of this build. And that will be revealed in the next video. So, so uh, subscribe 
hit the bell for um, alerts when the next video comes out. It won't be long, within a week, I hope. And uh, yeah, check out the other videos. Um, lots of Land Cruisers. So if you're into Land Cruisers or if you're even comparing, you're like, I don't know, I want to buy a 100 or an 80. I do a comparison. Or I want to buy a 200 or a 100. Which one should I get? I do a comparison, even from Lexus to Land Cruiser, so on and so forth. And painting wheels, polishing wheels, all Land Cruiser and truck stuff. So hit that subscribe and uh, I'll do my best to keep giving you great content. All right, but this is step one of four major upgrades we're doing on this truck. And I always like to name my trucks. So since this is a 24 valve, it's black, it's from Japan. I'm gonna call this Black, black Mamba. So this is Black Mamba. All right, there she is. Okay, now on to stage two of my build. The planning starts now. Thanks for watching.